In this video, we're going to be connecting the Hike Vision terminal for elevated body temperature screening to its power supply here on the left side. This is the power supply that we include if you have bought the kit with the power supply. So we're going to start out by removing all the screws on the back of the unit. And there's actually two screws, it requires a very small screwdriver to remove them. And once you have that open, you're going to expose the connections here. So as you can see, there is an Ethernet connection on here. Then you also have your power, which is the white one here, as well as everything else you can integrate with the device, your Vigan interface, and so forth. The wiring harness itself comes like this. I've added our connector for the power supply. Again, this connector just screws in your positive and your negative lead. And for each of those leads, it just strip them out a little bit so it exposes the cable. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect it. The red, which is the positive, will go into the positive slot. It's actually marked right on the device here. And I'm going to go ahead and just screw that in place, making sure that you don't have anything exposed on the outside. If it happens to be a little loose, loosen it and just squeeze that in there a little bit more. And same thing for the other side, I'm just going to plug that in, make sure it's all the way in, nothing is exposed on the outside. And you can do a quick check to make sure it's nice and tight in here. So that harness is ready, connected to the power supply connector, which we'll just plug right there. Now on this side, again, you can unplug this to make it easier to move around. We're going to plug in everything into the connections. And again, you'll see that it's very easy. The larger one will go into that one. The smaller one, which is the power, will go in here. Again, if you are not integrating any of the additional connections, you just want to have power plug and place system, you can just cut this little cable tie here and you'll only need the power coming out. If you need to connect to your network, you'll have the ethernet connection also on here. So you can nicely route everything out the same way here. So let's go ahead and actually add in the cover now. And on the cover, there is a little edge here. It's a little bit different than the others for positioning. And we'll go ahead and add all the screws into each of these slots here. And this will complete the installation of the power supply as well as the complete wiring harness in here. Just plug this in, plug this to your wall, and you're set to go.